Hello, welcome to my pitch. A Line Productions have asked me to produce a new magazine with a genre of my choice, Bad Chairs and Beauty. There are already many beauty magazines out there, such as Elle, Verve, and Cosmopolitan. But these magazines do not combine the opinions of online trendsetters from platforms like Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, introducing diversity and numerous tab guides for people from different backgrounds. The magazine will have a free voucher deal with Marvel Nichols. We also have an affiliate code with Marvel, which can be used when the customers subscribe to the magazine online. Our name shows we accept all ages, genders and ethnicities to read the magazine. Our target audience is aimed towards 25 to 45 year old females. It will be priced at £4 and there will be an online deal of £12 and £40. We will have a YouTube and Instagram influence to promote our products on her channel and feed. Our magazine will include an exclusive Q&A with a makeup artist and we will have features from James Charles Zoella and Judy Hadid. The magazine will have a house side of grey, pink and white. The magazine will be monthly and able to buy online and in stores. Clues will be high up to catch people's eyes. The A's demographic have busy lifestyles, some work and some go to university, so we will include a five minute picture tutorial. Lola is 25 and in her last year at university. Makeup means a lot to her, she does it in her spare time. She attends a masterclass once a year and she loves finding new methods and products. She has subscribed to a makeup box which is delivered to her house once a month. She likes to find new beauty implements on social media. The images will be from the photography team and the cover will be a mid long shot. The front will be salmon. Here are some sample photos. The model will be wearing makeup in the cover photos. Here is my image to text ratio on a draft photo. As a star, the cost will be a loss of nearly £300,000 and our running cost will be £265,000, but I will be able to make this back quickly. Thank you for listening. Hope you can see my theme and questions. Thank you very much, Kate. It's a great pitch. So, can we just go back to your ideas of synergies? First of all, you mentioned Harvey Nichols, and was it Morph that you mentioned? So, can you just talk me through why you chose those? Because as a male, as a male client, I don't quite understand what Morph is. So, what's the choice? Why do you think they're a good choice in terms of enticing readers to the brand? They're makeup shops, so you can go in and use the code to get money off of the makeup. Okay, brilliant. So Morph, is that a brand or is that yeah, a store? It's a brand of makeup. And Harvey Nichols is obviously a makeup store. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about the price. So you chose the price at £4. Okay. What was the thinking behind that price choice? Um, it's not too expensive, so everyone can buy it. Okay. And what about rivals? How much are they priced at? They're around the same price. Similar price, okay. So if they're priced at a similar point then, last question, what is it about your magazine that's unique that will make them want to spend their £4 on your mag, on diversity, as opposed to buying something that's existing like L or Vogue? We'll have um, influencers from social media in the magazine. Yeah. And the other ones don't have that. And you mentioned your target demographic being um, AA in terms of demographic, didn't you? In terms of upper class. So do you think upper class people are going to be interested in those digital trendsetters or might you need to widen the choice from upper class? Yeah, um, they might because they don't really do that, read that stuff. Okay. okay, that's great. Thank you very much.